What do you want? Rules. You know. Jonas, where did you... Is leave possible. be a dream. It's probably a dream. Maybe it's a dream. Or, or it's a, another... Riley? Riley, are you there? Riley, come in, Riley. Yes? I don't know. I'm not sure. Hello? Are you... Are you still there? Shouldn't have taken that extra half of a sleeping pill tonight, or I really am here and have no clue why. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. What the hell is... Excuse me, who... who are you? Bury me. Where you can't see one. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm here. Hi. Hey. Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know if you'd be in range. I'm Evelyn, an environmental researcher with the lab. Uh, welcome to your first day on the job. I'm sure Leslie went over this stuff with you already during training and orientation, so forgive me if I repeat a few things. You're just gonna be planting transmitters along the coast to help us study anomalous frequencies. First of all, can you hear me okay? Over. Yeah, I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic- Hey, I thought they closed down the seafood place out here. Oh, uh, Seafood Sammy's. Yeah, that's... I think it's under health code probation or something. So anyways, the group I work for seeks out explanations for certain natural phenomena and inexplicable signals. Do... sorry, but if I finish up early, can I cash in my lunch for a boat ride? I'm standing at the kiosk. The, uh... the Edwards Island one? I've never done the tour, but always wanted to. Anyways, Riley, where was I? Oh yeah, the equipment. Your transmitters and climbing gear? for the rocky terrain, are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead and look at your walkie. There are a lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel seven. So if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But uh, let's let's hop over to channel five so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. 
Be there. Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night, unless I'm using the bathroom or <laughs> taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to seven so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on seven. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on seven. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never know what could happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. Closed. Back Wednesday. Are you kidding? Okay, Riley, pull out your map and I can explain how to use it. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of- What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Some of these postings are pretty old. God, 20 bucks an hour for a babysitter? If she doesn't fly through the chimney with a school of singing penguins, that's a total ripoff. Pasterson, age seven, uh, born nineteen seventy nine. This has been up for a while. <sighs> Hope you ran away to California, kid. that stupid kid. Hi, I'm Riley. You're Jacob, right? I think we're doing a job together. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, how's it going? I'm I'm Jacob, yeah. Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but... Oh, God, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault, right? Or... Maybe it is. You know it takes gasoline in the little hole over there, right? Oh, that's what that meter with all the slashes means. Seriously, though, I have no idea. C can we can we try something real quick? The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. Oh! 
Oh. Crap. Oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, <laughs> thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. Oof. Sorry, dude. That sucks. Ah, it's all right. She gave me eight crappy years, which was more than I expected. Anyway, you help me out. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, boss's doing a check-in. Want to hey, answer Evelyn. that? Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, Jacob, sorry. Um, give us a second here, Evelyn. Eh, may maybe more than a second, to be honest. My truck's misbehaving. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Wait, a bit of a climb? Like we're scaling a mountain or a really big hill or what? It's, it's more like a steep hike. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? Oh, uh, okay. This thing? I think I have the space. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Then why even say that? Oh, neat. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? Before I finally get some dinner? I'm sorry, but I just want to be sure I caught everything. It's okay. It's, it's a bit specialized. You and Jacob are going to put transmitters, these big metal poles, into a few areas around Kamina. These will gather electromagnetic data and send them to our lab for study. We're doing this because some radio signals are disrupting the town's equipment, and no one can figure out why yet. All right, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Okay, over and out. Oh, uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, thanks. I tried out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. the cheap seats. This is David Ratton. Bottom of the now 10th. I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Yeah, <laughs> she's... Definitely a type. I feel like you see Evelyn's running stores that sell nothing but Christmas stuff all year round. <laughs> yeah, a little. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but but when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well, do, do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, EE fifth period. We, we went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, Butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. G good to see you. Uh, yeah, you too. So, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you.
I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Wait, what does tune into physical objects mean? I can't even picture what that could be. Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It did make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or whatever. The effects, though, that radio effect has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But I, I'm sorry, I'm just into this stuff. Super nerd techie. But I've been talking my head off ever since we met. God, okay. What's, uh, what brought you back? Is it temporary or? Uh, did you? Did you grow up here in Kamina? Oh yeah, born and raised. Right here, actually, on the outskirts, not in town. I'm a real parks kid, you know? Never really liked city living. Maybe to my detriment. Wapiti Trail, day hiking and biking only, sunrise to sunset. Wapiti means deer. Oh, uh, interesting. Ah, uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. Just take one step at a time. What's this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Turned out to be a really nice night. Yeah, it, uh, it is. Feels honestly a little like tornado weather. Which, they don't really happen in Oregon, you know? Maybe it's a sign. Oregon only gets a tornado like once every 20 years. Yeah, but when they come, watch out. <laughs> Right. Thanks for the stop. Let me catch my breath. Ah. 
All right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open till like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked? And locked. Damn it. What the hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn, tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they locked parts of the park up after hours. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Heh, <laughs> never would. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Coming with? Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Don't sweat it. I used to climb the kitchen table before I knew what it was called. Come open up the gate after your topside. Evelyn, yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, you made it. Good job. It was a whole thing and a half. <laughs> I believe it. Well, you grew up here, right? You ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Kanaloa? Uh, which story? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine downed in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Uh, why would anyone think that? Oh, I don't know. Little discrepancies, little things, details of the story not fitting exactly right. Sometimes... Oh, hey, little animal burrow. That's cute, I guess. Uh, I'd steer clear. Skunks are, you know, a thing. But, uh, any interest in the other, other story about the submarine? Uh, go on. Do you believe in ghosts? Sure. Some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. Damn it, you caught us. I thought I'd have till the end of the night to take my revenge from our watery grave, but... Okay, okay. You know what? Yeah, make fun of me, but all I'm saying is... It, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain. Imp 
It's a little weather-worn, but this is nice. They used to have one of those coin-operated binocular things up here. When someone kept sticking gum over the eye holes, it really lost its luster. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Oh, wow. It looks pretty, whatever it is. Yeah, pretty. So, over here looks like as good a spot as any. Let's plant it around this area. It's clear enough, I think. Okay, so, the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. I think you just have to point it so it catches the signal. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. Yeah, so should we call Evelyn? Maybe check with her if it's working? Oh, uh, yeah, good, good idea. Hey, uh, Evelyn, we did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the... clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh, Jesus. Wait, what is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, do you know, is this, is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? Something- Riley, turn off the transmitter. It's- What? Just turn what's it off. What's she saying? No, 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 no. God, I can't believe this. Oh, the portal, something's wrong with it. Oh, I was almost there! What is that touching it? Is it lightning? What? Wait. The, there's someone... Who here. is she? She did something! She... Whatever she did, fried our intended... Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? What? What? Hey, wait, e Evelyn, we didn't we already do this? Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I'm Evelyn, a new researcher with the lab like you. This is the start of my fourth week, actually. I'm by Opal Beach. It's about 20 miles out, but I can- Ah, uh, damn it. Hey, kid, can you- can you help me? You I, I think keep I'm... Away. Keep away from all of this! For your own good! This isn't for you. Just... Who are you? What are you doing? Just leave it alone. Don't... Don't listen to them. Don't do anything. Stay back! Hey, wait! Come in, Riley. If you're there, pick up, please. Not again. Evelyn... Hey, hi! Thank God! I didn't know if you'd be in range. I just wanted to tell you that, actually, man, have you ever gotten a deja vu? But our antenna, it, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. We got overworked. 
I'll have to to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or well. Ruin. Ruin. It's her again. She keeps trying to. What the hell just happened? Definitely wasn't here before, right? Right. I think I fixed the, the loop, I guess. Oh, man, I... Walkie-talkie looks uh, cracked. I don't think this thing's gonna work anymore. God, what happened? I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... Well, she better know what the hell is going on. Hot luck. Let's eat, damn it. It's raining outside. Weather? Uh, bug. <laughs> the Bud Act plays are sponsored by Headley Textiles. Hello? Is somebody in that truck? Ah, ah Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta give my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. There was a... Wait, there was a, a giant triangle in the sky above Edwards, right? Did that? Yeah, that, that, that happened. That, oh man, are you, 
okay. You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Ah! Hey, guys, are you there? Oh, it's it's Evelyn. Oh, man, thank God, it's only Evelyn. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you, over? Oh, jeez, guys, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. <sighs> okay. All we have to do is look at the transmitter and tell you what it's doing. Fine, we'll just do it and regret the decision later. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. But here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too. This should work. Man, what a night. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters, right? Man, Jacob, I, I really love to believe that. Well, you should. If only for the next hour or so. It helps, trust me. Wait, wait, listen. Their transmitter yes. knocked their hey, whoever this is, quit whatever you're doing before this, whatever this is, gets any worse. Oh no, Riley. Ah, uh, it's you. You know, they did mention something about a stranger coming with a shield she thinks is a sword. I didn't think it'd be a 45-year-old with a transmitter, but I guess that's my fault for assuming things. Who am I speaking with? Um, you're a little behind on the eight ball, aren't you? Charlie, are you still there? Yeah. Head to the ranger station. You can get the receiver there. We need it to fix the antenna, okay? Oh, and Riley? Riley Poverly, right? How's the new job? You like it? Is it working now? Wow, I'm really impressed. You took a picture and reverse image searched. Awesome. Technology, right? Not exactly. I know, because they never lie to me. Watch for the stars. They will be your guide. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound... Young. You have any idea who they could be? Uh, I, I don't know. One of them sounds familiar, but I'm not sure yet.
Let's let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on. Yep, right behind you. Let's go. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. You see that? What the hell is that? That giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She, no one really believed her, but she knew. Even 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, what are you talking about? Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like, it, it sounds like... Kids. Closing. You gotta go home. Hey! Anyone know her? Where, where, Anyone friends where, where with this woman? I? Anyone? No? Wait, 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 wait. I'm. This whole thing isn't because I'm just. It's time to get up. Let's go. There's nothing to figure out. Night's over, okay? Hey! Wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier.
I, are, are we in... I mean... This is Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs>